I'm at an auto show. Is it okay to use the mid-cycle refresh? Ah, use it anyway. This is the Volkswagen Passat. So what have they done to it? Well, let's see. Here's actually one thing that they didn't do, which was move it onto VW's ubiquitous MQB platform. Plans for that were scrapped, thusly the Passat remains on its new market sedan platform for the time being. So in regard to how the Passat drives, that part probably won't be all that different. Where it will feel different in the driving department is with the engine. Now gone is the V6, replaced by a torquier 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, but it's still mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission. As a result of the powertrain shift, one would assume better fuel economy, though we don't have those numbers, so we'll have to wait and see. The exterior and interior redesign is more extensive, taking cues from last year's makeover of the Jetta. The grille is now extended horizontally, and the Passat's profile strikes a more coupe-esque pose with its more sloping roofline. The rear end, gosh, it almost looks more generic. We can't decide if it looks like a Toyota or a Buick. The Passat returns in four trim levels, S, SE, SEL, and R-Line. VW is making more features standard across the board, including blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, front braking assist, standard LED lighting, rain sensing wipers, voice control, an eight inch touch screen, satellite radio and adaptive cruise control. There are also new 17 through 19 inch wheels available. The interior has been updated a little bit as well, gotten a little bit of a facelift. But, you know, I think in the effort to modernize, they've kind of made it a little bit spartan. There's a lot of plastic in here. Um, some of the materials are nice. These leather seats with the contrast stitching are good. This is the R design model, the R, and it, this is the top of the line, and it just doesn't feel like it has anything really special going on. Pricing isn't available yet, but the Passat goes on sale in the summer of 2019. With dwindling sedan sales, will the minor changes made on the Passat be enough to keep people interested? Time will tell.